Hi everyone, welcome to Becode Tube. In this series, we are gonna see the immunes database, the handwritten database, the ones that have the, the digits. And uh, we are gonna create a neural network to load and uh, detect the digits in both C++ and Python. What I mean is, I'm gonna create a script in C++ and the same algorithm we are gonna create in Python. And then later in the series, we are gonna replace our neural network with a PyTorch neural network. So first, we are gonna use only math libraries. In C++ is gonna be Eigen, and in Python is gonna be NumPy. And then later, we are gonna replace with PyTorch. I am using currently these versions, Eigen 3.4, we can get from this site, Simple INI 4.19, Simple INI is gonna use to load a config file, we can get from GitHub, LibTorch 2.0.1, we can download it from PyTorch directly, and the uh, OpenCV, OpenCV is gonna use just to once we read the database, the database is binary, but uh, once we read the data, then we, we are gonna save the data as image. So I'm using the OpenCV to save the images. In Python, the math library is NumPy 1.24.1. And uh, once we, down, we install the Torch library, Torch already, install both NumPy and Pillow. So we are gonna download, install only Torch, but Torch will download the other ones. And Pillow also is on, used only to save the image once we read it. If you are following this video, pay attention to your storage because downloading the LibTorch, the CPU version is 900 meg but the GPU is more than 4 gig. The same for PyTorch. If you get only the CPU, it's 900 meg, but if you download the GPU, 4 gig. And if you are following both codes, you're gonna download more than 8 gigs, plus the data itself, it's 200 meg. So only for the CPU, we are talking about around 2 gig. And for G GPU, you can get to 10 gig. So just pay attention to your storage. The C++ code to read the database, I adapted from this Stack Overflow question. The Python code to read was adapted from this blog post from James McCaffrey. The neural network I adapted from this video from Samsung Zeng. And the C++ code, I took the Samsung Zeng code and adapted to C++. Later, when we start using the Tosh library, I took uh, an example from the official website. This is the Python. Uh, example and this is the C++ example and uh, if you want more explaining on the libtorch a uh, starter tutorial is from a good starter tutorial is this one from Elantesia getting started with PyTorch and uh, later we are gonna see that to convert Eigen data to the torch uh, there is a little trick that we need to do and uh, I found the, in this discussion with in the PyTorch uh, forum. So this project, we are gonna see how to install and compile the dependencies. Then we are gonna read the units data set, read from binary sources. Then we are gonna create our custom model based on Samsung video. Then we are gonna apply Torch to our, to our script and then we are gonna convert the script the thought script into batches to speed up the process 
If you enjoyed the series, please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.